This is the ocean twilight zone. It's vast and full of life, but we're still learning about what lives down there. Most of what we know comes from sampling nets. But some animals, like jellyfish, break apart in those. Others can just avoid capture entirely. So if you can't see them, how do you study them? A new tool called environmental DNA, or eDNA, is helping. It can identify animals from tiny amounts of genetic material, like fish scales, poop, or bits of tissue in the water. It's great for telling which animals are there, but where and when they're present is just as important. That's because each night, trillions of animals migrate up from the zone to feed at the surface. Knowing which ones migrate could tell scientists a lot about the Twilight Zone ecosystem. But if you sample eDNA near the surface, or in the Twilight Zone, does that mean the animal it came from was there too? Or does eDNA just drift with the currents, making it impossible to tell? To find out, researchers from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution made a computer model. It's based on biological and physical forces in the deep sea. And thankfully for scientists, it shows that once eDNA is in the water, it doesn't go too far up or down. In fact, once an animal sheds eDNA, those particles likely don't move vertically more than 20 meters. That's about 65 feet. These findings have big implications. They mean that when eDNA is collected at different depths and different times of day, it'll show which species are migrating and how deep they are at any given time. And that means scientists can now learn volumes about the Twilight Zone from just a few samples of seawater.